Thank you. Oh. Yes, the gentleman. What about the possibility of your municipal cooperation, or do we just take care of ourselves, or do we try to um, work with the county and highway and other things? Did everyone hear that question? Yes. I guess, is it my turn? Yes. Okay. Uh, so I'm this county council of governments. Um, Don is actually, I think you're the president of that, aren't you, Don? I am, yeah. And um, on the one area that we do have some say and some control over all this process is with roads. And I know that the that the county of Gov the council of governments has been working on this for a long time. I've even been to a couple of their meetings myself. <coughs> so that's the example I can give you, Cal. Um, I don't know what else there is, really. Do you have any ideas of where there can be intermunicipal cooperation that there isn't? Other than roads, I really can't think of anything off the top of my head. Water? Air? Um, I think that, that's like a discussion, not a one-minute answer. Um, I, yeah, I mean, yes, I, I think that, that I do believe in us, uh, you know, working together with the municipalities. Um, like I said, it would have to be something that I kind of think about more, talk with other people what they think, you know, to really get a good answer that represents everyone's feelings in the town. So, I don't know enough about it right now, though, so. Cal, are you asking about, in our day-to-day -day business, or are you asking about things like, you know, sharing... <coughs> and plowing roads, and you know, are these sort of things working? Or yeah, well, we have this stuff happening constantly. I mean, and just 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 last week, we sent a couple of our trucks over to Danby because they had a big job going on. And we often get their trucks or other towns, and there's a lot of cooperation like that. And you just keep track of how many truck hours, and uh, you know, we have a big paving job. We'll have other towns bring their equipment over, or we'll do the same for them. Um, currently, we plow some of the county roads. Uh, here in the town during the winter, and they pay us. They don't pay us much for it, but but they pay us something for it. It's something to be fostered and to go forward with, not to yes. cease and just worry. Yeah, about no, it. and uh, you know we currently have the Tompkins uh, Coalition Health Insurance. Uh, our highway department and our uh, other people that work for the town that get health insurance through us. We're in with the health. Consortium, and uh, that that's, that's going to turn out to be a, a good deal, and we're one of the first towns to get the highway department to go to go along with that. Um, so yeah, we, we 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 do cooperate with other towns. We do cooperate with the county. I I think it's uh, crucially important, uh, not only that we do, but that we uh, continue to look for for ways that we can. Uh, in some instances, there's an economy in doing that. Uh, in other instances, it, it strengthens us. For example, I know that some people are concerned about a lawsuit that might follow from enacting a ban on fracking. If there were an intermunicipal, or perhaps even many of the municipalities that are enacting a ban, having a shared legal defense fund, uh, that might be one way to address it. I think that uh, certainly as we get into road use agreements, trucks aren't going to travel just on state roads or just on county, we're going to need to coordinate with the, with the county to determine the pathways for, for trucks to travel into and out of the town. Uh, and certainly with our water and our aquifers. We've got Six Mile Creek running right through here. That's the water supply to the city of Ithaca. Uh, there's tributaries throughout the township and coming in from Dryden as well. Uh, I think that we need to have a lot of coordination uh, with the other townships and, and our need to do that is only going to increase if and when fracking comes. Thanks. My question is for Irene. By the way, thanks for bearing the expense and making the effort to circulate this. Uh, Who are you? This flyer. Uh, it was helpful. I've read it seriously and, and with good attention and appreciate it. I know you're not a lawyer, and I don't mean to put you to an unfair test, okay. but in the flyer you make a couple of assertions about uh, the law. You say that uh, a zoning law is not necessary uh, to uh, support a ban on fracking, and you also say that New York State's highest court has allowed towns to ban other types of resource mining. Given consideration to the handful of towns that have actually enacted a ban, 
those that have proposed bans and the situations which you had in mind when you mentioned the state courts uh, supporting bans of other types of uh, resource recovery. Among those, what is your, what, how many of those don't involve a zoning law? I honestly don't know the answer to that. Yeah, I think the answer is none. They all involve the zoning law. But second sir, half of my question. Sir, can I have a second half no, of the question? Thank you. Yes, sir, in the red jacket. So uh, I have a question for Pete and Martha Toby. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm Cyrus Umbrigger. I've lived uh, in this area for 31 years. Uh, Pete, um, both in the last town hall meeting and today, you uh, uh, expressed your vision that, uh, that the role of a town board member is to fix the roads at the least possible price. Uh, that's the primary role of a town board member. I would submit to you that, that we should get rid of town board members and just have highway superintendents. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a question in there somewhere? No well, uh, I mean, if you'd, if you'd like to respond to that, and I have a question for Toby, can I ask that? Well, why don't you just ask me, do I agree with yeah, that statement? Do you agree with that statement? No, because um, the, the highway superintendent is in charge operationally. The town board sets the tax rate and mediates the political question of how much money to spend in return for how much service. And that's why there are five town board members instead of one. So that's really what it's all about. Subjects. That's what we do there. We decide how much to tax you guys in terms of how much okay. service we're going to okay. provide. So it takes five and that's the sacred trust. Okay, so we're paying for five people to set a tax rate. Well, you're so. not paying much, Cyrus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, My name is Michelle Brown. Uh, I've lived here for 16 years, and I actually grew up near Endicott. So, um, my question basically is to all of you, and I'm wondering if your positions or your priorities have changed at all while you've been going around and talking to people during this campaign season, or even uh, for Toby and Pete while you've been on the board. If, have your priorities and positions? Why, why we've been on the board? You can encompass all of your experience on the board or while you've been campaigning, whether your positions or priorities or philosophies have changed at all. I'll stand here and wait. Okay. Okay. Um, that's a really good question. Um, my priorities, thoughts changed. Um, man, I mean, you really, you start getting out in the Caroline, and it's just amazing just the, the difference, though. I mean, just, you know, from one neighbor to the next on a lot of range of issues. And that can be frustrating, you know. Can't we always think the same? No, we can't, obviously. But, um, but I think it just, so it's going to take a lot of time, I think, to, to build consensus um, on a lot of issues here. And, you know, I, I seriously even had the thought the other day, you know, going around because... Um, I try to bike or you know walk around around the town of Caroline, going door to door, and I'm like, is this town even too big? You know what I mean? To, for, to represent one view? You know, I lived in a I was a Peace Corps volunteer in Tanzania, and I lived in a rural village, and you know everyone was just right there in the village, so it was sort of sort of simple to have a consensus. And then the next village was I don't know, 45 minute walk away, and so I think it's really difficult to have a, a consensus here in uh, in the town of Caroline, and it takes a lot of a lot of work, but. Um, so, I don't know, I guess I just kind of, I guess my viewpoint of, there's a lot of viewpoints out there, and it's, it's going to be a lot of work getting people together. And I think one thing that we could do maybe better is having a lot more social events within the town to create more of a town culture. You know, we have the Apple Fest in the fall, but I'd like to see things in the spring, like certain ideas, even just having Friday night's porch night out on Slaterville Spring. You know what I mean? Just, just things to bring people together more. I think it would be a lot better. So. Um, I, I think the question was, has my philosophy or point of view changed since I've been on the town board? And uh, my, my basic philosophy, I don't think, has 
changed. But one thing that, that has happened is that, is that you, you start to realize how many different people there are in this town and how many people have different views. And there are a lot of people that aren't afraid to call you on the phone and tell you their view or walk up to you in East Hill Plaza or down at the Dandy Mart and tell you their view. And so you're, you're always on duty. You're always working. And yes, you do have to listen a lot in this job, and you do have to try to take what everybody tells you, and you have to try to put it together, and you have to try to come up with what you feel is the best solution. <coughs>